Welcome, this is Richard with 71 Innovation. In this video, we're gonna give a quick overview of the new grand opener, and then do a demonstration and a how-to session at the end. Overall, this is intended to be an enhanced version of the original grand opener, but with some new features. Let's jump into that. You might notice that there's a lot of similarities to the original version of this, and that's by intention. The original function here to be able to grasp the operating rod for an M1 Grand or an M14 uh, is really still the primary feature. Moving around here, you see a new name badge, really has no functional, it's just a better looking uh, uh, name badge to go on that thing. Rolling this over, you do notice a feature that wasn't on the original design, and that's going to be part of the load assist portion for an M1 Grand to be able to push a end block into the rifle with the palm of your hand instead of having to rely solely on your thumb. Looking a little bit further, you might notice that there is this little storage compartment with this metal hook in here. So let's pop that out. It's kind of like a pocket knife to get your thumbnail underneath that. And that piece really just goes into this back hole when you're ready to use it. And we'll demonstrate it later, but this is used to be able to unlatch the trigger guards for uh, the original milled M1 Garand trigger guard, also the stamped version, and then ultimately the M14 trigger guard as well. So overall, that is a look at the device and I will go through each of those functions in a little more detail, and I'll return that back to its holding position. Let's jump in here and take a look at the original function for the tool uh, as it was uh, initially intended. The inspiration was really seeing some of my uh, older friends struggling a bit with getting the grand open, and it was clear that they weren't enjoying the process as much anymore. Uh, basically, all that happens is this feature up front, which looks a little bit like a can opener, which helped me with the name, just hooks around the op rod. And what it does, it just gives you something that you can actually grab a hold of instead of just trying to hook one finger on the op rod. Now, normally you can do that no problem, but if you've had an injury or there's some strength or arthritis issues, th this just can make it a lot more uh, easy to do. So you just simply hook it around you can get your fist around the whole tool and then just drop back and it's as easy as that now obviously that works for the m1 grand and the m14 the next function we're going to look at is the trigger guard and getting that unlatched and open and again following that same theme that maybe there's some hand strength injury or other issues you're dealing with uh, it's handy to have uh, something that can give you a little bit of a mechanical advantage on that. And that's something I really wanted to add into this new feature, or into this new tool. And so we pull out this hook, and you can see there's a hole back here at the back of the tool. We can put that hook into that spot, and it's free to move. Once you have it there, what we're going to do is use that to hook into either on a milled grand, uh, this hole, or on a newer grand trigger guard that's stamped uh, around this little bend and we'll be able to use that to get some leverage on opening and unlatching. So what we do is this hook is just going to drop through the hole. This pointed corner just goes right down here in the corner and the direction of the tool just follows the pistol grip. So just slide that through, bring it around and it just becomes a lever that you can use and you just roll forward and it's open. In a similar fashion on the stamped one, orientation of the tool is the same. You just put the hook right inside here behind that, and it's you'll see it slide up until it hits the bend, and then you can lever that open. And that's as simple as that. I've replaced the M1 Grand here with an M14. And we're going to continue looking at how we can use this tool to get the trigger guard unlatched. Uh, in this case, although they're very, very similar, there is some subtle differences. And the primary th thing that we're concerned about is there's no longer that little bend step like we had in the sheet metal version of the Grand 
or the milled hole in the back that we can get the hook through. But you can still use the tool in very much the same way. So again, maintaining the orientation where this point where the hole is is kind of back to the corner and where the tool is following the pistol grip. You can just turn it 90 degrees and what we're gonna do is utilize the hole that comes in these trigger guards. So we go from here to here, put that through, and then we can lever in much the same way and open it up and there's this flat spot on the front of the tool that allows us to get hooked up with that. For the last part of the demo, we're going back to the M1 Garand. Uh, again, following the same idea that there's some challenges sometimes with, with age or injury uh, and loading and unloading these rifles, uh, I want to try to incorporate a feature that would help with pushing the end block into the rifle. So I mentioned it in the opening screen, but you see on the bottom of this tool, there's a little additional feature here on this, what was previously a flat surface. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate here how we can use this and the rest of the tool to make it a little more um, friendly to pushing in an end block without just using your thumb. So I'm going to work around the camera here, so bear with me. Again, this is loaded up with dummy rounds, you can see the hole in it. I just set that into place. And from there, we're going to take the bottom of the tool. And this feature really just fits right in between the bullets. And again, I'm trying to do this in front of the camera, so bear with me. But once you set it up there, now you can just use the heel of your palm and just push straight down until it clicks into position. Then you can pull it out and bump your op rod forward to finish loading the rifle. Hopefully this video helped illustrate how you can use this tool to work on an M14 or an M1 Garand. The tool opens the op rod for both rifles by grabbing the op rod handle and giving you more grip area with the tool. It can also be used with this hook to grab a hold of the trigger guard and lever those open and unlatch them with ease. That feature stores away. And then finally, you can use the feature on the bottom of the rifle to help load the end block into an M1 Garand. Hopefully you found this useful.